we can gossip. We talk about everything. She just tells stories and she just feels alive. I'm 92 and hell, I want to keep going. Oops, I shouldn't have said that. I want to keep going. If you're 92, you can say anything. <laughs> it's all right, Rosemary. You remember Rosemary and her blessing bike back in November. We brought you this heartfelt story that hit a soft spot for so many of you. A uh, Boise family built a special bike for their 92-year-old grandmother so that she could get out and bike with them again. It's only been four months since our story aired, but big things are happening for the Blessing Bike. Maggie O'Mara brings us this incredible update in our 7-0 tonight. I love it. I, I love it. All I do is sit and smile and wave at everybody. In November, we brought you the story of Rosemary Source and the Blessing Bike. They think there goes that crazy lady again. Her daughter Jill saw a bike like this one on Facebook and asked her husband Wade to try to make one. Uh, we ended up looking on uh, Craigslist and found uh, an old rusted uh, cargo bike. Took it all apart and Jill painted it. I put new wheels and tires and made all the mechanics right and then gave it to her for her birthday. It was a huge surprise that has brought this 92-year-old so much joy. They ride every day. It's been a ride for sure. A lot has happened since we saw them last. Since the story aired, it went across the Pacific Northwest, kind of across the nation. Um, we've had people contact us from literally all over the world inquiring about bikes. It's not just the bikes, it's the stories of families wanting to help you know, their loved ones, people with disabilities, elderly people. Um, we got together as a family and decided how can we help more people. So we formed a nonprofit called The Blessing Bike. They partnered with a local bike mechanic and started ordering and modifying cargo bikes in their garage. He gets these bikes for us. It takes us a few hours to assemble the bikes and we put in a floor, diamond plate floor and seats. Their neighbor created the logo. She captured the essence of the Blessing Bike because the roses and the tires are for Rosemary, for my mom. On this visit, I got to take a ride too. Are you ready, Rosemary? Oh yeah. We shared a blanket. Are you warm? Oh, I'm warm enough. And I experienced the magic of the bike through her eyes. It's fun. It is fun. It really oh, is. is. so wonderful. <laughs> you gotta wave. <laughs> you have to wave. This is exhilarating. It really oh, is. My goodness. I see how much joy it brings. You take a nice big breath and you think, oh God, <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> The orders for the Blessing Bike are rolling in. Families with aging parents, families with disabled older children, local senior centers. We're selling them at our cost. The bike deliveries are the best part of it all. I cry every time. You know, I remember the name of every single person who purchases this bike and their stories. In fact, one lady I did meet, she just got one. The kids delivered it to her and she was so happy to get it for her mother. Jill says this is Rosemary's legacy. On one of our rides, we had a conversation just about her life, and she said, you know, I never really did anything. I didn't have a career. It was my generation. We got married and we had kids, and that was our life. She, she said, I really feel like I'm living my purpose. It's a happy feeling, and just to think that you can get this and go just just as far as you want. You don't have to go far. Other people are getting the joy yes. of the Blessing Bike because of you. Well, yes, in a way I sit in it, but I didn't make it. But I'll enjoy it all the while I'm here. Only the good day, young, so I got a long life here. <laughs> Maggie, Maggie, give me your answer, Drew. The Blessing Bike. But you look sweet upon the seat of a bicycle built for two. Oh. Seven's hero. Love it, Ruthie! <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> We're all going to want to ride now, right? Yeah, I know. There is one more wonderful thing about this bike. Rome Rosemary has been thriving ever since they started riding. Right now, Jill and her husband are financing the entire operation. The Blessing Bike 
has official nonprofit status, so the family is accepting donations to help them build even more bikes for other families. To follow the journey of the Blessing Bike on Facebook or to donate, go to this story on our website at ktvb.com.